beautiful people out there it's me again so in today's video i have a special guest <laughs> my amazing and super 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 cool father in love is here with me so yes you guys i'm super excited to have him in our video today so as you guys can see from the title we're going to talk about something very serious so as you guys can see from the title we're going to talk about september 11th so you guys don't know back in 2001 um something very tragic happened here in america that you know it's crazy 18 years later it's still you know dear to our hearts and you know it just brings up past sadness and memories of what happened on that day i remember on that day i was in seventh grade in spanish class and i remember we had just started our lesson and i remember on a tv you know it came up like the bird you know the building was on fire and you know we didn't know what was going on because you know we were starting our lesson and everything and then all of a sudden you know as we we're going on with the lesson we saw the second plane hit the building hit the twin tower and i remember all of us just jumped we were like whoa what's going on like we thought we were watching a movie not knowing that this was happening i mean i was 12 at the time and i didn't know what was going on like we just thought we were watching a movie but this was happening live and in action and you know a couple of hours later you know the third plane had hit the pentagon not knowing my father-in-law was at the pentagon so that's what we're going to talk about today i just want to you know hear your experience and you know what was like that day and you know it just touches my heart because i know how many lives were lost on that day but just knowing that you know you experienced that and you're here today like god is good you guys so let's jump into it so our father-in-law is a retired military he served for 20 years 26 26 y'all so thank you so much for your service like we don't take that for granted at all give it up for him guys give it up for him. <laughs> 26 years in the military so now he's retired and living his best life he him and mom just you so silly. <laughs> Him and mom road trip down here to come see us. So they are just living life, okay? I'm trying to be like that when I get older. <laughs> so let's talk about that day. So if you remember clearly from the time you got there, what happened and let's go. Just a, another day at work. I, I worked in the Pentagon mm -hmm. over by the, the metro section, yeah. the metro area. And we, we heard about, someone came in and told us about the first plane in the tower. Mm -hmm. And we just thought it was some, something crazy, maybe some drunk, you know, in a small plane or whatever hit it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until a little bit later, well, shortly after that, there we heard about the second plane in it. Mm -hmm. And then we knew it was something serious. Yeah. Uh, we went to the conference room, we started to watch it on the big screen in the conference room. Yeah. And then we went back to work, and the next thing we knew, we heard the uh, alarm going off in the building. Mm -hmm. And it's the evacuation alarm. Yeah. So we started going out, and as we were filtering out, mm -hmm. uh, well, something funny, well, not funny, but fortunate, I guess, was as I was walking out of our office, yeah. I heard the phone ring, and I thought, you know, should I answer it or should I get out of here? Yeah. But I went back and answered it, and it was my wife. Oh, they they had seen smoke coming from the building already. Oh wow! They knew what had happened because it was on the news already. Mm -hmm. uh, and fortunately, she found out that I was safe. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, she'd have been thinking, you know, the worst. The worst, yeah. right? But uh, we didn't even feel it. We didn't know what happened until we got started going out of the building and people started, you know, yelling and saying, hey, the plane hit the other side of the Pentagon. And then uh, we made our way outside and uh, they confined us for the most part over in a separate area because the fire was going on and firefighters were fighting the other areas. And a lot of mixed emotions that day. I know, like just hearing it from your perspective, like, I mean, it's, it's touching because, I mean, had you been in that area, I mean, whew, see. That, that, that's another <laughs> interesting tidbit is uh, I was in that area. Our offices were in that area until about a month before it happened. 
Wow. We moved because they were doing renovation over there. Mm -hmm. Had we not moved, my offices, my group of offices, the Office of Secretary of Defense for Reserve Affairs, yeah. we'd have been in those rooms. Right. So it, it you know, God was looking out for us. Yes, He was. Oh we my were God. in a different part of the building. So. A month ago. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> like yeah. it's it makes me like oh. If my bosses hadn't been pushing it mm -hmm. and getting us moved because because of the renovation, yeah. And if we had still been waiting over there, we'd, we'd have been at like ground zero yes. <laughs> before the thing came in. Ooh, see, and just knowing that like touches my heart because, like he said, a month. Prior to September 11th, like he was, their offices were in that area, and I mean that just goes to show you how real God is, and you know, I'm just happy that you're here. Like, I'm getting a little teary eyed. We were watching the documentaries on National Geographic this past weekend, and just watching that over and over just brought back memories because like I said at the time I was 12 so it was like all types of confusion like what is going on what happened like but afterwards you know we understood what happened what was going on what terrorist attacks meant and you know that oh my god that's just that's touching oh he said that mom was calling you and um you know checking up on you so did it, was it hard for her to get in touch with you? Because I know a lot of people were out of service. Nobody was able to get in touch with people. No, I mean, at the time that she called, mm -hmm. it was still operating. Yeah. It, the, the Pentagon's an amazing building. I, I mean, like I said, we had that big crash explosion. Mm -hmm. I think it was like 270-some people died in that, in that area. Mm -hmm. And in the area that I was located, I was working in, we didn't even feel it. Oh my God. So it, it's an amazing building, and uh, thank God they built it the way they did. It was just one section where the plane went in, and it was confined to that section because of the special construction. Wow. And y'all didn't hear it either? I didn't even hear it. I, I did not know why we were being evacuated. Wow. Until we were in the process. Well, I found out from my wife, actually, uh -huh. <laughs> who, who was several miles away in Alexandria. Wow. So as far as like going back to work afterwards, how long did it take you guys to be able to go back into the Pentagon and how did that make you feel going back to work after all of that took place at the Pentagon? Well, that, my section was shut down for one day. Mm -hmm. I didn't go back the following day. It was two days later that we went back to work. Okay. Uh, but other parts of the building, other operations, they, they never missed a beat. Oh wow! They didn't, they didn't miss any time because, of, well, because of the job that has to be done. Done right. They were there, and it's always 24-hour operations. And it, you know, it was a little eerie going back, thinking about the people that lost their lives. Yes. I didn't know any personally, but I knew a lot of the names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was uh, eerie, Aww. and you know they they had the whole area blocked off. Mm -hmm. No, you couldn't go back in and look or see. And, and then they spent months and months of going through the rubble, yeah, trying to identify remains. And, and While everything is still in process, like progress, everything's still going on like a normal day. Yeah. Wow. Oh my one, one great thing about it is they, they made a, a vow that in one year we that would be repaired and it'd be back in the full operation. And I can remember the big anniversary celebration as, as well as re reopening that part of the Pentagon. And the president was there. President Bush spoke and Mm -hmm. it, it, that was a great occasion to know that we'd bounce back that quickly. Yeah. As, as well as what we did militarily. Yeah. See, that's why he's such a great guy. My husband is great because he was raised by a great man. So <laughs> I take pride in knowing that, you know. <laughs> With 
That happened at the Pentagon, the fourth plane, the United 93, that crashed in Pennsylvania, that crashed in the county that you used to live in, Somerset County. So how does that make you feel knowing that it was like, it was like all of this was following you? <laughs> Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> that little town right there, mm -hmm. very rural area, very small town, and yeah. for something like that to happen there and put them in the limelight is pretty neat. But Somerset County is, you know, it's out of the way yeah. type place. And yeah, Aww. those were great people on there. And they, that tried their best. Yeah. It goes to show you, like, they were willing to risk their lives to save everyone on that plane. And, uh, it's just, it's sad. Yeah. yeah and, and, I mean, the, their target, they think, was going to be the White House mm -hmm. or another hit on the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, they lost, lost their lives, but they saved many, many more. Yes. Well, we are so thankful to have you here. When Maddie told me the story, I couldn't believe it because you guys never mentioned it. And like every time September 11th came around, it was just like, you know, you know how some people like celebrate or like they do, you know, visuals. So I didn't know like, you know, that you were a part of that. And just to know that you survived, I mean, that's a blessing. And, you know, God is definitely with you always. You know that for sure, but you know. It just, that confirms. <laughs> it wasn't my time. No, 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 we need you here. <laughs> I really appreciate you doing this for me and just sharing your story, you know, because there's so many people that are still hurting 18 years later and, you know, we're still hurting. Like I said, I was young, but just knowing what took place and doing research yeah. about it, it just, it touches yeah. me. And then every time I watch the documentaries about it, it's just... It's heartbreaking, but we're so thankful to have you here. Did you ever see me on the documentary? Yes, uh huh. And then the picture, the <laughs> Dougie said, <laughs> he was actually on there. <laughs> so if you see a guy walking with glasses <laughs> with the Pentagon burning in the background, that's my famous father in law, y'all. <laughs> we're so thankful to have you here, and we don't take you for granted. You know, we, you're truly a blessing to our family. and. We love you. <laughs> we love you love so you. much. Aww. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this. And, you know, I'm just so thankful that he was kind enough to come on here with us because he's a really shy and quiet guy, just like Maddie. But you guys got to hear his story and to, you know, hear his experience. So if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to leave them down below and I'll pass them along to him since he'll be with us for a couple of days. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Please. He doesn't know the outro. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm bad. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs>